Welcome everyone. This is the Platform Special Interest Group meeting. Uh, it's the 7th of May. Thanks for joining us. Let's look at our agenda and then we'll work through it. So, an action items, uh, Google Summer of Code, wanted to do a core release project topic, platform roadmap, quick review, S390 infrastructure progress, Docker PR status, uh, Windows installer possibly if Alex joins us, not sure he'll be available. Uh, then likewise for plugin install manager and then Oleg, did you want, and wanted to hear from you a brief status on the in, agent image renaming, sure. Google season of docs and Google summer of code projects added. Yeah, I added it because uh, you added agenda only for Git plugin project, but we have two or three, uh, depending on whom you ask, uh, projects which are also in the scope of uh, Platform Seek. Great. Let's let's cover that. Actually, why don't we put all of them? Let's move that one right up into the early early spot there, and let's put the whole put all of them, yeah, and funny. we'll just make that one a sub bullet. Anything else we need to add to the agenda? Fine. Okay, then let's let's go ahead. So, open action items. Uh, I I have a new item that we added today. We want to switch so that our meetings in general are using the Continuous Delivery Foundation Zoom account rather than personal Zoom accounts. I'll make that switch uh, using the invite that I received from Oleg. I still have the Docker operating system support action item open. My apologies. Uh, still there. Oleg, the open, the Windows support policy. I think mm -hmm. the, well, go ahead. Yeah, so we had a discussion on the developer mailing list. I believe we have enough feedback to proceed. So my action item is to actually get it done. I wanted to finish uh, with the image renaming first, but then uh, I will definitely take a look at this story. Maybe after spending some time uh, with other ongoing pull requests like uh, images for architectures, because they also need some uh, time to be spent. But yeah, after that, uh, I believe that uh, we are not blocked uh, regarding Windows support, and it's a good time uh, to actually get it done. Because, for example, one of our Google Summer of Code project uh, would depend on this story in terms of uh, .NET framework baselines we need to support. Thank you. All right, and then we've still got the Docker build rework PR. My apologies, I have done no reviews on that in the intervening two weeks. Uh, we do have the infrastructure ready to support it, or at least we've got the infrastructure ready on ci.jenkins.io to support it, but we don't yet have the, the reviews necessary to get it done. Next topic, Google Summer of Code Projects. So Oleg, how about if we just open those and let's take a look here quickly at, let you review the ones that we would we think would fit well to put them under the umbrella of the platform SIG. Yep, uh, so I will summarize uh, the current state. So on uh, May 4th, uh, the announcements about uh, accepted projects. We have uh, seven projects accepted in total in our organization. Six projects uh, target Jenkins, and there are projects which are directly related uh, to the platform special interest group. So for example, first project in the list, custom Jenkins distribution build service by sliding. Um, so last time we agreed that it would be handled under the umbrella of the platform seek. And it's also added to the platform seek's uh, roadmap, uh, at least in the current state. Um, 
The other projects we have um, is uh, Git plugin performance improvement, which is somewhat related uh, to Platform Seek because the Git is just a common tool. Um, so I am perfectly fine to have it under the umbrella of this Seek or maybe use other platform. So it's something to be discussed. Uh, then a uh, third project we have is Jenkins Windows Services. So Windows support is definitely within uh, the SIG scope and we will be uh, doing uh, regular updates at the SIG meetings about how is uh, this project going. Uh, we already have uh, some prototypes and hopefully we will be able to iterate uh, quickly with that. So this is one of the projects we, where we will likely start coding period earlier. And by the way, if someone is interested, there will be a project meeting today. So ping me in the chat, I will share the link. Um, and the first project, which is probably related to Platform Seek, is external fingerprint storage. Um, so historically, uh, all pluggable storage stories are handled under the umbrella of a cloud uh, native special interest group. Uh, but yeah, firstly, uh, this uh, special interest group is still government. Secondly, um, pluggable storage, etc. You do, uh, don't have to be in the cloud to get benefits from these stories. For me, it's rather part of the platform. So I would be hesitant about uh, putting it uh, into the scope because uh, the scope for the SIG is already bloated. So we had some discussion with Mark a week ago or so about potentially splitting the SIG into two. One which would be focusing on distributions and packaging and another one which would be focusing on uh, platform features, well, foundation features or whatever you call it for the project. Uh, but we haven't... Uh, Made this discussion official yet. So, we, if anyone is interested to contribute, I think we will start it in the Sigma at least uh, once we're ready. Excellent. Yeah, that's a good one. I should have put that on the agenda. We should be sure we. Uh, so that's splitting the the Sig into two interest groups. And I liked your description of them. It was one was packaging and the other phrasing yeah, again. Yeah, packaging and distributions. And the second one is uh, well, foundation features, core features, or whatever. So core features can be a bit confusing because uh, core features, it's not about Jenkins core. So, for right. example, uh, Git plugin for me is a core feature. By right. applying the plugins, a core feature. Um, but yeah, foundation features might be a bit better name for that. I'm not sure. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, very good. And this is the next Windows S390. And there also a custom um, distribution service. Um, well, Docker packaging, uh, uh, yeah, I guess Java support would stay here as well. Oh, yes, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> well, uh, arguably it could be a foundation or it could be something else, but it really depends on the number of contributors. And right, right now the number of contributors uh, is not high, so basically <laughs> I wouldn't touch it. Good, okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. Anything else on Google Summer of Code? Nothing specifically. So we have just started coming to bonding. So all uh, project teams will be meeting, uh, organizing uh, channels. And once it's done, probably early next week, we will have a blog post with uh, uh, the summary, with links uh, to projects. And after that, I think we will be encouraging all students to join uh, SIG meetings so that uh, they can uh, present uh, their projects, they can uh, meet a wider community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would rather target next week or maybe even uh, in two weeks, let's see. Great, excellent, thank mm -hmm. you. All right, I think we've already covered the splitting the SIG into two interest groups topic need some further discussion on the mailing list, that discussion will, will happen. 
yeah, mm, it's not my immediate priority uh, because, but yeah, in principle, splitting uh, six in such way would be reasonable. Uh, just uh, to maintain uh, the agenda's focus, because yeah, you can take a look at this list. Uh, we have twelve topics or so. So right, yeah, right. And 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 as we add students to it, as soon as we get to six or eight people in a meeting, we we run the risk of just overrunning the ability to be effective. So I like that. Yeah. Good. Okay. Next topic, brief status on core, core release project. So we've released 2.233, 2.234, and 2.235 as Jenkins releases delivered by core release automation. And 2.235 has been selected as the next LTS baseline. Um, that, that means, uh, that means test heavily. That's a lot, right? Uh, we've got about six weeks before the LTS is released, and we need to uh, check all sorts of things. Um, had an interesting one yesterday that Daniel Beck submitted a fix for on Internet Explorer 11 support for it. So uh, it's there's plenty to be learned and plenty to be tested. Mm -hmm. Uh, the next thing coming for the core release project is security release and LTS release. Uh, and that's support for those. This is not an announcement of a security release. This is rather support to do security releases when needed. Yeah. So right now we still uh, need to use the previous automation infrastructure. So Correct. basically we do depend on Kiki to cut releases. Uh, platform roadmap. I just captured this picture of the current state, Oleg, as one way of reminding where we are right now. Anything you wanted to talk to on platform roadmap as it's evolved yeah. in the last? So, um, yeah, we have some uh, stories which are not listed on this roadmap. For example, agent renaming uh, is tracked uh, in advocacy and outreach, seek me. Uh, but um, yeah, let's talk uh, only about initiatives on the screenshot. So Docker images for Windows, they're basically ready to be released. Uh, we had a discussion about uh, what should be the baseline for the release last time. Uh, but in principle, we have tested them. Uh, we use the common flow for shipping the releases. So we are ready to go. And I'm basically waiting for Alexa uh, to just uh, um, make announcements. And after that, we can consider this story as completed. And actually, the same for new Windows installer. So for new Windows installer, we ship uh, weekly releases with uh, the new installer. Uh, but uh, there is a tricky thing that uh, new Windows installer actually requires new build scripts. Uh, so that's why this project has been delayed for almost one year because uh, we do releases with new installer on the on a new release automation environment. And uh, they, as things uh, uh, stay right now uh, for security and LTS releases, we won't be able to ship uh, the new Windows installer. So although this story is formally completed, uh, at the same time it's not completed. So I'm not exactly sure what should we do here. I would, uh, yeah. I would personally prefer to wait until uh, it's an LTS. Um, but yeah, I agree. Uh, hopefully there is no work to be done there, except uh, getting core release automation over the line. And yeah, taking uh, these two stories. Uh, Completed. We have Docker images for IBM 9, we have uh, PowerPC and OpenG9. So I think we should prioritize these stories and try to get uh, them over the line uh, so that, uh, well, they have been already delayed for months. Um, so if we could uh, spend some time on finishing them, it would be great. 
and uh, there are also two other stories we, which we like we need to move to in progress. Custom Jenkins dis distribution service, just because Sladen will be working on that in GSOC. So it's a done deal. Uh, and uh, another story which we probably need to move is immigration to adopt open GDK in distributions. Uh, there is one uh, pressing issue there with Alpine packages because uh, there is no longer official open GDK images uh, for Alpine. I thought that Jim had told us that there was at that they had just oh no maybe it isn't official yet. Mm, maybe for high versions, not for Open GDK. Ah, okay. Again, uh, I'm talking about Open GDK. Right. If you talk about adopt Open GDK, there are distributions for that. Oh, oh, mm. oh! I see. Wait a sec. So maybe yeah. I misunderstood. So. You were talking to migration to adopt Open JDK, but you're saying that Alpine mm -hmm. does not have an Open JDK image. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Did I understand? Well, uh, Open JDK image doesn't have Alpine. <laughs> ah, all right, inverse. Thank yeah. you. Uh, but uh, it, yeah, anyway, uh, uh, Alex Earl has already submitted a pull request for master images, we will need uh, to do the same for agents. Uh, but I think that at least for Alpine, we should switch as soon as possible because we are already behind uh, bug fixes. And uh, yeah, the, for other images, we should also think about this story. But yeah, for me, first priority would be try Alpine. And for Alpine, we have less risk of breaking things because Alpine is already stripped. So there should be no significant difference between Alpine OpenGDK and the Alpine Adopt OpenGDK. Right, right, good point. Yeah, like yeah I think, Mark, I think uh, the OpenJDK version with Alpine was Java 16 early access. So it's, it's not even usable uh, right now, so. Ah, okay. So, which really means it's got to be adopt for because there we're we're running something right now on Alpine, but it's some something not from not from the Open JDK project and not from adopt Open JDK. Okay. No, uh, our official Alpine images are based on adopt Open JDK right now. They are. But adopt uh, Open. Sorry. Open GDK images are not supplied by Oracle or by Open GDK team. They are supplied actually by Docker. Ah. Or somebody who currently maintains them. Uh, so yeah, these images have always been a bit behind and less maintained that Open GDK, but you know they just stopped shipping these bits. And it's understandable, but we still uh, support uh, Java 8. We are still interested in uh, providing Calpine images, at least for agents. And so, yeah. I would suggest that we migrate to adopt OpenGDK very shortly. Great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other items that you wanted to add to the list relative to platform, to roadmap, Oleg? I think it's quite fucked already. Okay. For me, it would uh, be rather finishing uh, pending stories. I open uh, Jim and other contributors uh, to get uh, platform packages uh, over the line. And after that, we can uh, clean up uh, the rest in the near term. Please. Great. All right. Speaking of platform packages, S390 and PowerPC infrastructure. So uh, agents are connected to ci.jenkins.io uh, and they are actively used. Awesome, glad to hear that. Yeah, well that's, that, and so the, the uh, let's see, we've got agent provisioning automation is still needed. That's a, uh, I think Olivier told me it is puppet based automation, mm -hmm. but it's, it's functional as it sits today. So 
it's usable already and um, I know I'm using it and there are other other others that are using it as well. Then on the Docker PR status, that's a needs review and test. And then we'll, we'll <clears throat> excuse me, we'll need an upgrade guide or will we, I, I, is the sense that we'll need an upgrade guide because there will likely be changes as part of that? Um, for the experimental images, um, yeah, I guess. Uh, all this is just the experimental, so it does not affect your normal uh, Docker packaging. Um, so yeah, there'll be a little updates, I guess, to how you guys are handling your publishing of experimental. Actually, no, the experimental should actually, a, a couple. there's a couple additional tags, but all the tags should exist. Uh, all the same tags should exist, so just a couple additional ones. And so maybe maybe what it is is a blog post to announce it and encourage and invite people to to test to, to test and experiment. Yeah, it's, it's really cool to see like Alex got the you know the Amazon ARM sixty four working. So it's nice now we have access to all the architectures that you guys are supporting. So excellent. Okay, so next stop, then there really is uh, more reviews and merge to merge to experimental, and then uh, eventually merge to release. Yeah. Test and eventual merge to release. Great. All right. Alex isn't here, so I'm going to take the Windows installer just so that those who are here are aware of what, what's happening there. Core release automation is not delivering a zip file that it used to deliver. And so Alex and I had an exchange in uh, IRC as he was looking, hey, what's the download location? So we've got some work still to do on core release automation with regard to Windows installer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was uh, raised a couple of weeks ago. I believe there is a Jira ticket for that. Um, so originally it was done as an enhancement because uh, there is no practical uh, need uh, to compress MSIs. Um, right. But um, yeah, first yeah, our download uh, site wasn't ready to that. Uh, right now the Windows link basically needs manual management. Otherwise it's broken. And I believe that we haven't updated it for the last week we released. Um, and yep, yeah. it's just a minor fix, but we need to apply this fix. Right. That's that's really, and and I think you're right. There really there, there isn't the MSI is already well compressed. Zip yeah. zipping that thing doesn't buy us a whole lot uh, compared to just leaving the MSI. Well, it's fine to ship both, um, but uh, it's ultimately not needed. Also, when you download MSI, it uh, gives uh, more opportunities for tools like antivirus scanners, etc., to check signatures. Uh, and yeah, our MSI is now signed correctly. So, or not? Yeah, they are signed correctly. So, it would be better to provide MSI on our download site. Which, which is the default. And when I click through the download link, when I click the download link, from the Jenkins download page for weeklies for Windows, it does in fact download the MSI to my machine. So yeah, so right, because uh, we hard coded to the link to MSI. Right. Our update site is still broken, uh, so it, it doesn't supply proper link. And uh, uh, yeah, I had to just apply a pull request to inject a direct download link. Got it. Okay. So we basically need uh, to update uh, package Jenkins IO and mirrors Jenkins IO to properly serve um, MSIs. You said package and what was the other one? Then mirrors. But yeah, basically it's the same now. So since we fixed synchronization to package, you just have to fix it in one place. 
Excellent. Okay, I'm going to drop the plugin installation manager topic. It was one we had listed for had for Alex two weeks ago. We'll have him discuss later. Oleg, I had put agent image renaming on. I just wanted to give you a chance to share with us the current state there and the progress. Okay. Do you want me to share the screen or? Do oh, that would be great. Just go yes. to the blog post. Oh, I yeah, I can certainly open the blog post as well. Let me just yes. do that. Let's save time then. Okay. So yeah, it's a fresh blog post, but actually the changes took place uh, in mid-April and uh, why we didn't uh, post announcements uh, immediately is because uh, we had ongoing discussion on how to properly name my uh, agents for SSH. Uh, but yeah, what changed? We renamed official images uh, which are being used by Jenkins users. So it's a base image Jenkins agent. It's an inbound agent, which is used uh, basically for connection of a general P4 via TCP or via WebSocket. And uh, there is also SSH agent image. Um, so all these uh, three images got new names. Uh, also, as a part of uh, this change, we streamlined uh, deployment of Windows images. So now Windows images uh, are deployed on the same location. Um, uh, that's why I said that we are ready to release with Windows support, but uh, we still need to announce that. But yeah, the main thing is that these images are finally updated. Uh, and it was one of the most problematic areas of um, agent, uh, well, slave to agent renaming we had in Jenkins 2.0. It was just four years ago, but uh, unfortunately the images uh, were still old. Uh, they were uh, periodically uh, uh, getting some criticism because of yeah, all the offensive names. So yeah, finally they are renamed. We still have a lot of uh, slave mentions across the organization. So if you are launching GitHub query, there are something like 3,000 mentions of slave. Some of them are fixable, some of them are barely fixable, but we need to keep working on that. But uh, two main issues have been addressed. So this naming and uh, several months ago, the name of SSH built engines plugin. So um, we are working on the stories. And in this blog post, I also uh, used the opportunity to hint uh, the incoming stories. So if you scroll down, there is also what's next section. Where we, I basically listed uh, the platform six initiatives. Well, if it gets us some contributors, it would be nice. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm just uh, using the opportunity of having a roadmap and listing stories from there. So it should be fine. Excellent. Now you you mentioned that the Windows images are now uh, coming through are now available through this through Docker Hub through. The uh, usual. They should be always available. Mm -hmm. We just uh, aligned where they are available. Because ah. before that, uh, we were shipping um, Unix images to one location and Windows images to another location. Uh, historically, it was done because of uh, Docker Hub auto build limitations. Uh, but now we just deployed to the same location. Uh, Unix images are still built by Docker Hub auto build. Windows images uh, are built by a trusted uh, CI. So basically it's a Jenkins instance for shipping uh, releases. Um, and uh, yeah, mm, mm, uh, right now they're just on this, under the same roof. So it doesn't matter which tool you use to ship the releases. And I believe that at some point we will sh switch uh, Unix build flows to our CI instance as well. Well, actually CD instance because we need to ship latest packages, but yeah, whatever. Thank you. So, Thanks very much. Yeah. So I hope we will have announcement for Windows images maybe in one or two weeks. Great. Mm -hmm. um, I had put Google season of docs application submitted. If anything you want to describe there, Oleg, before we conclude mm, yeah i'm fine to do that so yeah it's submitted mm, it's uh, something uh, that is being processed so next week uh, actually on monday we'll have uh, 
uh, response from Google whether our application is accepted or not. If we accept it, we will have one project uh, where a technical writer would be working on a particular area of our documentation. And uh, what we discussed last time, if, a, if the platform seek has any ideas, uh, what could be improved there, uh, just go to our Google Season of Docs website and uh, suggest the project there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if we talk about uh, facilitating uh, documentation, there is another incoming project, uh, uh, UI UX Hackathon. We plan to host it in, in late May, and one of the stories today is user documentation. And user documentation surprisingly includes installation guidelines. So, for example, installing it on Windows, installing it uh, in Docker, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, so, if somebody is interested, we could try to facilitate these stories as a part of this hack test. Um, official announcements for that. Uh, well, I plan to ship a message uh, on Monday as well. Great. Well, and uh, wiki trans transformation. So the wiki to Jenkins.io transformation will be part of that. Yes, it will. Uh, I'm not sure how much is related to platform seek. Oh, fair. Right. Mm. Yeah, and for, in my case, there are a number of platform-specific things that are still still need to be transferred there, things like the reverse proxy setup and uh, uh, some API things. There are all sorts of interesting uh, platform-specific topics that are not yet migrated. Yeah. So anyway, it's a gradual process. So again, uh, well, for wider scale initiatives, we could try Google Season of Docs. Though yeah, with one project, it might be a competitive program. So it really depends on applications, on the interest of technical writers. Um, and for UI UX hackathon, it's uh, totally doable, but yeah, the time frame uh, would be quite tight. So if you want to document something, it should happen maybe next week. Any other topics we need to cover in the platform SIG today? Nothing from me. All right, Jim, anything from you? No, I think I'm good. All right, thanks everybody. We'll end this. Recording will be archived uh, later today. Thanks very, very much. Bye all.